Technology is making great strides every day and we are bringing ourselves closer and closer to revolutionizing our way of life. Before start remember to follow the channel and smash the like button. Let's begin. First of all, we need to understand which technologies will allow us to survive in a sustainable way on this planet. So let's start with that. 1. Cultured meat. The process of creating cultured proteins looks nothing like raising animals for food, and that's exactly the point. Instead of using an entire animal, cell cultured products start with just a few cells, which can be obtained from a piece of meat, a cell bank, or a live animal. At the end of the growth process, cells are harvested and turned into products whose proteins are molecularly identical to those in animal meat. The resulting foods have been called by several names, in vitro meat, lab-grown meat, cell-based meat, and even clean meat. The benefits of this type of meat are, it is more sustainable. We have less waste of water. It is tasty as the normal meat. No need for deforestation to make room for new pastures. 2. Vertical Farm. Vertical farming is the agricultural process in which crops are grown on top of each other, rather than in traditional horizontal rows. Growing vertically allows for conservation in space, resulting in a higher crop yield per square foot of land used. This can help the continuous demand for agricultural production in the world, increasing the output per square meter by a lot. The benefits are food quality control. The irrigation methods allow you to save about 90% of water, no need of pesticides and herbicides. The closed system prevents the entry of parasites and weeds. Possibility of producing vegetables out of season. Vertical agriculture makes it possible to reduce the use of the soil and contain its impoverishment as a result of the consumption of nutrients. 3. Artificial Intelligence. AI is a computer system able to perform tasks that ordinarily require human intelligence. This is in a few words the definition of this huge world. The robots we're talking about don't look like the ones from Star Trek lots of them like Alexa and Siri, you can't even see them, because they're computer programs, what makes them robots is the fact they can take data and analyze it, and learn from it, and keep on getting more intelligent, or the ones on Google and Facebook, that figure out what ads they should make pop up on your screen. And for when you actually leave your living room robots are already helping us. Build stuff in factories. Analyze financial reports. Act as virtual nurses for patients. In the future, we could be talking about robots we have in our houses that will be able to cook for us, do all and outside of our houses, doing dangerous ones like fighting fires or picking up radioactive waste, and a whole load of other things we'll get into later in the video. That's because I is capable to learn from their past works and grow better and better. An incredible example of this is related to recent news. A Google engineer claimed that a computer chatbot he was working on had become sentient and was thinking and reasoning like a human being has put new scrutiny on the capacity of and secrecy surrounding the world of artificial intelligence. He described the system he has been working on since last fall as sentient, with a perception of an ability to express thoughts and feelings that was equivalent to a human child. Incredible, right? 4. Living Robots. This is something completely different than what you think. These so-called living robots are made of a real living tissue and could revolutionize medicine. Scientists have taken stem cells from frogs and they've used computer programs to assemble them into blobs about a millimeter in diameter. They are not robots as we know them, and even though they come from living tissue they are not classed as animals either they're tiny programmable organisms that can move independently and can even work together as a team they might even be able to self-heal their wounds remove plaque from human arteries or take medicine into patients' bodies. 5. Self-driving vehicles. Self-driving vehicles yes thanks to Tesla self-driving vehicles are already on the market, but what's being done so far is only the tip of the iceberg. For Tesla and other companies the goal is level 5 automation. That means there's no steering wheel or pedals the passenger just inputs where they want to go and the car does all the work. A first example is the Google car in Arizona. That is a taxi without a driver. Let's see these images we are still far from level 5 automation, but is still impressive. The main goal of these big tech brands is to look at a future where most people don't own a car instead there are just fleets of self-driving vehicles on the road which you just jump into and enjoy the ride. Thanks for watching this video Techman, if you learned something today hit the like button and subscribe for more.